Hello everybody, Jacob Lawler, First Team Real Estate, here to do a quick tutorial on how to make simple real estate logos. Now, uh, I am by no means a graphic designer. I am a branch manager for our office, but uh, I've been able to quickly do simple uh, real estate logos for our agents in here. I wanna do a quick tutorial on how to do that. Now, I actually recommend having two different logos um, one necessarily uh, more square to do in uh, social media and kind of more simplistic stuff and one that's a little bit more rectangular to add to documents or anything like that so I'm gonna share with you how to do that using Canva, which is a free or potentially paid, I actually have a paid uh, $12 per month program, but I can show you the way on how to do it with the free version. Um, and I'm gonna share with you how to do that right now. So the first one we're actually gonna do is the rectangular one. Just to keep it simple, I'm just gonna go up here on the top right hand corner where it says create design. Uh, and I'm going to just say logo. It's actually one of the suggested options in here. Um, it's gonna start off with a, um, a square uh, one here and I'm just gonna do a circle with uh, my personal um, uh, initials in there in kind of a more cursive just a little bit more decorative in here so I'm actually just gonna use this one here that looks like it was a um, uh, some sort of a uh, I don't know some sort of a restaurant or something like that but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete all of these items in here, uh, I'm gonna say the, since the 1992 option, what I'm gonna actually do is I'm going to highlight this and I'm just gonna write my initials JL, okay? And what I'm gonna do uh, also, I'm going to make this fill the screen all the way here. And of course, because I have this wonderful recording thing here, let me modify this, move this guy down and there you go, and I'm gonna move this back down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight this, uh, my initials here, and I'm gonna go into the font style, and I'm gonna change the font. Uh, let's see what that one looks like in here. I'm just gonna change the font to a kind of a cursive-esque, more script font, that way it looks a little bit nicer. And I'm just gonna try to fill this screen as best as I can with these letters. So that way, let me see here. So that way, it makes this here. So, I mean, that looks pretty cool. Now, again, you can make this to your heart's content, uh, change this, modify it, whatever you want, but again, simplistic, right? This is a J and an L. If you don't like that, obviously you can say, okay, well, let's change this to a different font style. I like this one better. So again, choose whatever one you want, but let's just say I'm gonna utilize this one. And then, so now we have this here. All you need to do is say download. And what you can do, because I have the paid version, I actually have the ability to do transparent background. But if you're not gonna do that, just say download. And you can make this larger, you can make this smaller, but at least this is something that is your initials and you can change this however you want. But I'm just gonna say download, right? And it's just gonna download it to my downloads folder. Uh, so now I can utilize this in any social media, in anything like that. So let's then go into a new, um, a new one. So I'm gonna now say logo again, but because I want this to be a little bit rectangular, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say resize up here in the top left, if you can see, see that. Now, I always forget which one is the length and which one is the height, so I'm just gonna modify this and say, I want this one to be a 1,000. Oh, it looks like it says it right here. So width is the first one. So I'm gonna say, I want this one to be a 1,000 and the other one to be 500, right? So all I'm gonna do on this one is, I'm just gonna say my name, and then real estate agent down below. Again, simplistic. I'm not getting fancy with house logos and anything like that. If you want to, go to Fiverr and get somebody who can do an actual logo for you. But if you just want bare bones, you're saying, Jacob, I'm coming into the business with no money. I just wanna do it myself. Um, all you need to do is to go into text and just say, add a heading, I'm guessing. And I'm just gonna say my name, Jacob Lawler. And I'm just going to make this a little bit larger so it fills this screen 
a little bit more. Now, I don't know what really these mean, to be completely honest, these little purple things, but that just looks like it's kind of centered in there. So I'm just gonna say, sure, that's cool. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit higher. And then what I'm gonna do down below is I'm gonna add a heading again. And I'm gonna use all capitals on this one. And I'm gonna say real estate agent, okay? Now, one of the cool things I really like about Canva is it has this little spacing item. And what you can do is you can space the letters apart so that way they don't get bigger or taller, but you can spread them out a little bit. And sometimes I kind of like the way that looks. If you don't, you can modify it, whatever you want. But one of the things I like to add in here just to kind of make this a little bit fancier than just letters is you can add what's called an element. And an element, you can just add a line, for example, and then make it a little bit smaller. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna change this and just put it right here. So that way it's in alignment, centered here, and it kind of goes all the way to the end here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to copy and I'm gonna paste. Sure, I wanna allow, why not? Uh, and then that way it's the same exact size rather than doing it all over again. That was a little trick that I learned. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, boom, there you go. And that is a simplistic logo. Now, as you can see, this isn't quite uh, centered in the page, but if you move one at a time, it can kind of uh, get a little funky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, hit shift and highlight all of these items in here, or you probably could have said control all, and I'm gonna say group. That way, if I modify this and I say I want this to go into the middle, boom, it's right there. Now, because there's some space on either side and because I wanna do this the free way, which is, uh, or the free way of doing this, not the free way like driving on it, uh, because when I download this, it'll download this as a white background. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to resize this. Now, because this was 1,000 by 500, I want this to be a little bit smaller. I'm gonna try to say 1,000 by let's just say 350 let's see what that looks like when i try that i'm just going to say resize cool and then i'm going to drag this a little bit more i'll do this to where it gets the purple again i don't know what that means but it probably means something <laughs> design wise where it looks good so here is a better option for it so again jacob lawler real estate agent keeping it super simple and then i'm just going to say download as a PNG, there's probably somebody who could tell you what the difference is between PNG and JPEG or anything, but I'm just using what they suggested and I'm gonna say download. So now what I have the ability to do, if I wanna add these to a Word document or something like that, I can do that because I have them done. Uh, just to give you an example, I recently helped an agent do this uh, to make a letter uh, and what we did is we added it to a Word document where we put his rectangular logo up here and then his circle logo down here. We also added a signature. I can show you that on another video. But just wanted to share with you guys here uh, an example of how you can easily make a free logo using Canva. But, um, oh, I guess I just exited out of that. But... <laughs> But I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. But anyway, this is Jacob Lawler, committed to your success.